Hello all. In this video, I will demonstrate the Wi-Fi module ESP8266. This ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is uh, now one of the leading platforms for Internet of Things. This module is very cheap and uh, easy to work with. ESP modules are available in a wide range, ESP1 to ESP12. The number of GPIO pins vary according to the module. In this video, I am using ESP01 module. This is preloaded with a firmware and uh, set at uh, 9600 baud. This 2x4 connectors are not breadboard friendly. This cannot be fixed on the breadboard. So I am making use of jumper wires. One USB to TTL adapter is used to communicate with the PC. This is the connection details between ESP and the USB to TTL board. This first pin is the ground. Lower left pin is uh, VCC which should be connected to 3.3 volt. Care should be taken that uh, VCC is connected to 3.3 only as 5 volt will uh, damage the module. This is the TX pin of uh, ESP module which is connected to RX of USB to TTL board. The lower right pin is the RX pin that is connected to R R TX of USB to TTL board. This CHPD is the chip enabled pin which should be pulled high directly to 3.3 volt. Next is the RST pin which is reset and this is pulled high to 3.3 volt through a resistor 3K3 resistor. Generally these two GPIO pins GPIO 0 and 2 are left floating to upgrade firmware GPIO 0 must be grounded. Connect the USB to TTL board to PC and then open the device manager. Note on the COM port allotted here it is COM 41. We make use of uh, terminal software PuTTY to communicate with the ESP module. Open PuTTY. Click on serial and then enter the COM port. Here it is 41 and the baud rate is uh, 9600. For better appearance I am just changing the font size to 14. Click on open. Initially you get a garbage data and then the vendor address followed by the firmware version and finally you get ready. After this the module is uh, ready to accept AT commands. If you don't get any data just connect the RST pin to ground for a moment for a reset. Now type in AT. The module will respond with a OK. AT plus GMR will return the firmware version. To know the baud rate, type in AT plus CIO baud followed by a question mark. The module says it works on 9600 baud rate. To know the mode, type in AT plus CW mode. The default is mode 3. Actually there are three modes. Mode 1 is uh, station mode where ESP is uh, working as a client. Mode 2 is for access point mode, AP mode, where ESP is a host. And 3 is for dual mode, default is 3. For internet access to PC, I am using an MTS Wi-Fi dongle. Now we shall see how to connect ESP to this dongle through Wi-Fi. Type in AT plus CW LAP to list all surrounding access points. The module will search for the surrounding APs and list the uh, access points. 
now we have two access points surrounding to this ESP one is the uh, mblaze which is mine MTS and the protection level is also displayed three is uh, password protected PSK password protected and zero means it is not protected so mblaze is the AP we want to connect with for this we use the command at plus cw jap at plus cw jap you can select this uh, ap and right click to copy and paste now you have to provide the ssid password the ESP module will take a while and then connect with the AP this is confirmed with OK now the ESP module will remember this AP even if the power is switched off it will try to connect to the same Wi-Fi network after the power is on till you issue the command AT plus uh, CWQ AP it will remember the AP now let us start a server on port 80 to initiate a server the module must be set to multiple connections this is done by AT plus CIP max you have to use capitals AT plus uh, CIP max equal 1 this will set the module to multiple connections unless you do this you cannot start a server now start a server at port http port 80 80 plus uh, CAP server equals 1 comma 80 now a server has been started at http port 80 to get the station IP address type in 80 plus CAFSR you get two IP addresses one is APIP access point IP another one is STA IP as the CW mode is in 3 you get two IPs the station IP is of interest note down this IP address here it is 192.168.1.3 now open your web browser to send data from ESP to web browser you have to type in this uh, uh, station IP address into the web browser 192.168.1.3 followed by a colon and then the port number 80 now the web browser is sending a GET request on channel 0 the 0 after IPD is the channel and this is the GET request you see the host IP address and then the name of the browser to send data from ESP module you have to use the command AT plus CAP send you have to use the channel number here it is 0 and then the number of characters to be sent let us say 30 now the ESP module will return with a greater than symbol and waits for you to type 30 characters now you get send ok but still the browser is waiting uh, for the channel to be closed you use the command AT plus CAP close equal to 0 that is you are closing the channel 0 now the channel is closed and you get the 30 characters on the browser you can close the server using the command AT plus CAP server equal to 0 and then you must uh, restart
This is the way to close the server. Now let us check two way communication over LAN local area network. For this open another putty terminal. Open another putty terminal. Now we will start the server again in the uh, COM41 where ESP is connected. 80 plus CAP max should be 1 to start a server. The server is started at uh, HTTP port 80. AT plus CA FSR will return the station IP. This is the address you have to feed in the second terminal. Now go to the second term putty terminal, select raw, and then feed in the uh, IP address 192. Point one sixty eight point one point three and then the port number is eight zero where we have started a uh, server. Click on open. Now we, it says it is connected through channel zero. You type in some characters that will be received uh, in the first terminal to send uh, data from uh, the COM41 ESP module just type in AT plus CAP send over channel 0 say 20 characters now you get the data in the other, cha other putty window this is the two-way communication instead of opening a putty you can also open a, a telnet application on a mobile and then communicate with the ESP module thank you for watching